On the left, we see the effects of a milling cutter under the recommended 70% engagement. Any time the cutter is less than 50% engaged, chip thinning occurs and feed should be increased. Cutters with low levels of engagement must be programmed based on the center line of the tool. Coming off that center line, feed has to be increased to maintain chip thickness. With a 90 degree entry angle, feed per tooth and chip thickness are exactly the same, resulting in no chip thinning effect at all. As the insert is turned onto a 45 degree angle, a chip thinning effect starts. By maintaining proper chip thickness and utilizing the entry angles, we can increase productivity by 40%. With a 10 degree entry angle, we can increase feed by nearly six times, but are unable to achieve the same depth of cut. Small entry angles are ideal for high feed machining with low depths of cut. Side by side, we see the 10 degree cutter is the fastest, but based on the depth of cut, each tool has its specific application. Button cutters or round inserts are unique. At half the diameter of the insert, feed per tooth and chip thickness are identical, same as with a 90 degree cutter. As depth of cut decreases, feed per tooth can actually increase, achieving higher productivity. Based on depth of cut, we experience the same effect as with 45 and 10 degree entry angles. Increasing feed per tooth is important to maintain the proper chip thickness. This is important because inserts are designed to handle specific chip loads. Failing to maintain those levels will result in premature insert wear. These two round inserts are running at the same chip thickness. On the right, a lower depth of cut allows for a higher feed rate. 